one time the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chailbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandebridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of- You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor. Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There is enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it, and I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're- Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curs! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others, stay here! With me!
Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find an ally with us. Mercy's earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound, scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go. And do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy. It is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits, should any return. Oh. What tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... Heck! To show mercy would endanger us. Soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call. But I am. And if you cross me again, he will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. Jailbeard, are you well? I am, but I wish I could have risen to the challenge put before us, instead of just hiding here in the Longhouse. You are exactly where you needed to be, defending the people and yourself. I know, I just... Our forces outside were sufficient, and your father would have many unkind words for me if anything had happened to you. I know, I only wish my father's long shadow didn't darken my prospects here. I want to learn from you. Not watch you. I have no doubt. Next time, then. Good day. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. What of Oxenefordshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He is partnered with a rebellious Thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there.
I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire. Sigurd will be pleased to see you. Be careful out there. Ready to go now? Looks fun. Have you got a There will be con What do you have? Of it. I am. I acquired some rather unique. Be still. Let's go! Can't raise the sail yet. Sing, my ravens! Sail out! Is 
there a seashell among you? So I may tell you a tale of the Berserkers, and why we keep our potent brew a secret. Once there was a Berserker named Nori Nightclaws, who became a wealthy Jarl, known for his fame and generous home. Every day, dozens of Thanes, merchants, cousins, and other hangers-on ate at his table, drank his meat, and took his gifts. Finally, Nori Jarl grew angry about his leeches. He ordered his cooks to prepare a secret brew for a magnificent feast. He then invited every freeloader in his yard up to his meal, promising the greatest gift yet will be given after the feast. As his guests ate and drank their food, Dory and his loyal comrades slipped away. One by one, the guests entered the Zerker Gangbe. When the feast erupted the into slaughter, and his men torched the ball before fleeing the ship. Let the Never sail out! Seen again. There is much old and wisdom to take away from this tale. Save it for later. Sail! Catch you! All right, back to the story. There is much old and wisdom to take away from this tale. I will let each rower think out which lesson is best for them.
Was, ey, der Steam? Oh. Hey, komm her, Moment. Look at this little horde. Do this alone. Look here. The spoils of war. me strength. has no lesson to be learned or message to be gleaned. My father liked to take me on hunts in the forested lands east of Arvaldsnes. I loved these solitary times with him. I had never felt a beast myself, and my father saw that this upset me. I was only a boy, but I had the dreams of being a man. So one winter, my father asked me to perform a bargaining ritual to the goddess Skadi to improve his bow skill and snow sight. With glee warming my heart, I cut a hair and sacrificed it to the goddess, asking in exchange of skill and sight for my father. When the ritual was done, my father and I set off into the forest. We hunted all day until night fell, and we slew no game. That night, around the fire, I was sullen, my sacrifice had not been heeded, yet seeing my sad face, my father only smiled. Had you been hunting, he said, you would have killed six fine deer. For Scotty, here's only those who speak to her. Yeah, I don't want If you need a steady hand by ship or plane, I'll be ready to serve when the time comes. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Let's go hooded here. These soldiers are tightly wound. Show me what lies ahead. An alehouse. This must be it. Come on, let's go drink. Ah, yes. For this, I am coming. I want to talk You've to you. have had enough, friend.
Sigurd's not here. I'll ask around. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I'm asking a simple question. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. You seem to respect this man, Giedrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Oxenaford Shire to be free, and to decide its own fate. A woman who'll stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. Sigurd and Bassam headed south. They wouldn't go... Sigurd and Bassam headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. Smells like a fish house. Good spot to hide. Wait! Stop! Alan, what's the halan, Eivor? We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Wise on nerve, brother. It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with merchant soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be fortune alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Giedrich has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with the promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods. All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done.
Sigurd. Reward. Eivor, have you lost hope in my warcraft? I do that wisdom. He follows my feet. Always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basin is secretive by nature, for he is wise and thoughtful. And he has opened my eyes to a magnificent. <laughs> Yaren heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Oh. Is that a bottomless? St you? This sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy ass bastard Alfred, we won't have it. Lady, there is no need for slaughter. We all want peace for Oxen and for Tsire. Can we find some agreement? You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. We want you to be <laughs> What kind of mess did you get yourself into? Escaped. I was 
desperate to fight. You should have freed me. Gidrich, this is Eivor, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor, not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Gidrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where with... Where is she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands, but he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where, and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leech Vila garrison. Batim! Eivor! To horse! Blaze. Who is this Fulke that Bassam spoke of? An ally, Eivor. A most important ally. A holy woman who trades in prophecy and yeah. secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. You're speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Eivor. My heart's alive with the fuel of battle fire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the Northern Way? Our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it all together. Hey! From our bows like darts of ice. With sharpened shin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felled tree. Then the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat. Spilling its life wine into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales the siblings tell. It's just one of a thousand, Asim. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. Feed me. You haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. You haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. Of a larger plan. Above conquering England? What larger plan could we need? My blade is thirsty, friends. Shall we roll in like three barrels of fire? No. We must be careful. Do not let the executioner swing his axe. They're about to execute the prisoners. Open, would you? Oh, 
I stand with Giedrich. I owe you my life. What do I leave? <clears throat> Send me to find you. Let's go now. Be black from the other side.
Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He's safe in Buckingham. Good, Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke. If you want my backing, brother, you'll explain yourself. How is a madwoman central to your plans? When we find her, I will tell you all you wish to know. Until then, nothing. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Giedrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich. Tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. On your toes, or we'll be on the gibbet. You there? Why are you crawling about? A patrol of Edwin's men is coming this way. We're gonna jump them.
Sunen, guide me. Steady, boys. Lambs for the slaughter. The poor priests of the coast, half of them murdered in the chapel, the rest taken in chains to some ungodly heathen lands. Done, Wayfarer. Couldn't have done it without you. I should not be seen in this area. Soldiers here now. Giedrich has cleared them all out. She's well supplied, that's for certain. Well, oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Giedrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Giedrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Keatrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could ship away at flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle. <laughs> 